Hi there. In this video, we are going to be discussing the new features in the latest iPad OS 18. So sit back, gear up, and let's go. The newly introduced iPad OS 18 has included a built-in passwords app for managing all your passcodes and a calculator app with the ability to perform complex mathematics. It has also introduced tweaks in the Safari app. One of the most requested new features has finally arrived in iPad OS 18, a built-in calculator app. The new calculator app is sleek, easy to use, and optimized for the iPad's larger screen. It even includes advanced functions like scientific calculations, which makes it perfect for everything from simple arithmetic to more complex equations. It also has a basic calculator for performing simpler operations such as addition, subtraction, and so on. Among the new features is to convert between units such as Celsius to Fahrenheit. Another new feature is the ability to view calculation history and even delete calculations made in the past. Furthermore, another new feature is the ability to customize the home screen by long pressing on the wallpaper. It allows various new customizations such as a light screen, dark screen, allowing the iPad to automatically choose between the two based on your environment or picking a tinted screen with the color of your choice. It also includes changing between small and large icons. The new Look Control Center now has smoother animations and has added the feature to place new widgets in the main control center. You can also drag elements in the Favorites tab and place according to your wish. The control center is now split up into three sections as follows. The Favorites section, a music player, and a connectivity manager with Wi-Fi and VPN options. Nextly, you can now add Touch ID restrictions to any app you desire. The app shall only open if your fingerprint is validated. Apple has introduced a passwords app solely for all your passwords, codes, and other private keys. This allows easier access to passwords in case you have forgotten or to share to another family member. You can now multi-select two or more app icons and move to anywhere on your iPad interface. Neat, isn't it? Alright, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching and do not forget to like and share. Do hit that subscribe button.